If you know a single word of this, I want you to yell it with me. Hey, what's up? My name is Ruben Young, and you're tuned in to Ones to Watch Northside Sessions. You remind me of the kind of love from 96. I put my lips on a TV screen. She was my favorite wet dream. Now I'm waking up, yeah. And I'm thinking of you all the time. Got this pounding in my chest. Ain't got feelings quite like this since I was 16. Now a dream about a girl on top of me. White tea with nothing on underneath. I was 16 nowadays, girl, it's you that got me crazy I'm trying to find the words to explain Look, you got that something about you You got that Rachel Green I'm stuck in that teenage dream You got that something about you I wanna get in between Yeah, I want to talk to you guys for a sec. Jamal, come on. You remind me of summertime in 98. I took one look and I couldn't wait. Felt like Ross on the first date. Don't get me wrong, no. You're my number one, don't you forget. You look so good that I reminisce. Thinking about what Rachel did. She has style, got me wild. Making all them friends smile. Like how could I get a girl so good? Now with you, oh my God, I'm just so damn young and lucky, oh. Baby, when you touch me, I say, hey. you got that something about you. You got that Rachel Green. I'm stuck in that teenage dream. You got that something about you. I wanna get in between Thinking on what I mean Say, my Rachel Green Now try it with me My Rachel Green Yeah uh, Let's go, let's go, let's go together like this You got that something about you You got that Rachel Green I'm stuck in that teenage dream, Hey, You got that something about you I wanna get in between Think you know what I mean My Rachel Green El Toronto, thank you so much My journey as an artist really started back in Calgary I, I guess I kind of grew up in music You know, my mom put me in singing lessons and played in bands all the way up until high school, did Canadian Idol. You know, those were kind of like the soft beginnings of falling in love with it, I think. But uh, I actually went to business school. I got a degree in finance uh, from the University of Calgary. So I literally studied money and then decided to be an artist. And yeah, I mean, from there, I started playing more shows on my own. And I actually started a music festival back in 2015. It was 50 days long different show every day for 50 straight days. It was crazy. And at the end of it, it's kind of tied on money. Things didn't work out with this girl. So I started writing songs and that's kind of when I, I think I transitioned from being a dude who loved music and, you know, played gigs to somebody who actually got, I guess, a sense of happiness from creating. And yeah, I started writing songs and I started traveling outside of Calgary. And that kind of led me to new places to meet new people and start creating music that I really loved. And I guess that's more or less how I got here. So Dream State at its core, it's, it's a love story. You know, it's about a guy on his way between where he is and where he's meant to be. And yeah, it's primarily about trying to find the one and the girls you dream about, the ones that didn't work out on the way. And it's also about trying to get to where you wanna be in terms of your career and your goals. And just as a person, like finding yourself. It's my baby, you know, like I put, I put so much love and time into it and really met a lot of amazing 
creators on the way to making it. And Dream State actually also represents a big part of my life too because uh, last year between January and June, I w actually went on this crazy writing trip. So I would leave every Friday. I'd get on a plane and go to Vancouver, Montreal, Toronto, Nashville, LA, London, and just do writing sessions all week, like two, three a day. And then I would fly back to Calgary on Friday. I would bartend Friday, Saturday, Sunday, make my money for the week, and then head back out again on Sunday. So through that process, I really kind of found myself and found my sound and found like the, my, my deepest passion for this thing. And Dream State kind of came from that. So yeah, my favorite part of the process is definitely writing. There's no feeling like when an idea clicks and it kind of comes full circle from when you start with some chords and then you get in your feelings and you think about how to jumble up who you are onto a piece of paper, you know? But then when it clicks, it's like, it's like magic. And every now and then those songs actually happen in a couple minutes. And that's when you know you're really in your groove. And yo, like I could do that for the rest of my life. So Colors is a single from Dream State. And it's a song about losing yourself completely with somebody. Like to the point where the world around you is crazy and life is crazy, but all you can do is think about and feel them, you know? And actually in the artwork and in the video for Colors, I used my childhood house back in Calgary as kind of like the, the bigger point of it. And on the artwork, I'm sitting on top of it, staring at this girl on the moon. You know, some real soft stuff. <laughs> but uh, no, it's, it's a, that's where I dreamed about finding somebody like that, that I could experience that with. And I, I have in my life, but it kind of all comes back to like my mom. I, I was raised by a single mom and love didn't really work out for her the way it should have. You know what I mean? And I dream of finding that, what she should have had. And it kind of all started in that house. So I'm really proud of how colors kind of came full circle and I got to tell a bit of like my personal story. My favorite song to perform live is either Vienna or Rachel Green. And they're on opposite ends of the spectrum. Vienna is, I think I love performing it so much because it was one of those songs, it was 4 a.m. I was in bed, I was stressed and, you know, in my feelings. And uh, I got up, walked over to the keyboard, and I wrote Vienna in like literally six minutes. And that was at the end of my writing trip, so I, I really felt like I'd come a long way. And I think it was just the place I was in at the time. And when I perform it, like, honestly, I, I kind of get in my feelings at the end of it, you know, because I'm right back there thinking about, you know, who I wrote it about and and all that. And then there's Rachel Green, which is just, it's so fun. Like, that's my girl, man. You know, friends, Rachel, the queen. But no, it's, and honestly, that's, it's been really cool to see over the last year, Rachel Green has like become that song at shows that people are like, they connect with it. Like they're singing along we, I, I had a show in San Francisco and there were 350 people singing it with me. It was the greatest, greatest feeling. Next for me is diving back into Dream State. Like literally and I mean in terms of pushing the record and you know, I really, I really love this music and I can't wait for more people to hear it and for it to continue to grow, you know, and people to just keep vibing with me at shows the way they are. But I mean, back to the dream state, like I'm going back to the process. Like I said, it's all about being between where you are and where you're meant to be. And like, I've got a long way to go and uh, I'm gonna start writing a lot more. Um, and, you know, get in that room with Kanye. Yeah. I think it was, I think it was.